Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically, I realised that I never actually did my, like, all the books I read in 2020. Now in total I read 44 books. Because I wasn't tracking them on Goodreads, I don't know how many pages that was. But, <laughs> the biggest book was like 700 and something pages and then the shortest book was probably like 80 but that's because it was like a short story. I don't know how short the shortest story was but I'm just going to go through the list. If I have the book I will show you it or if it was an ebook then I will put it up on the screen. So the first book I read was The Seventh Decimate by Stephen Donaldson. I'm not going to go through what it is eh, or do I? No. Basically this is more like a fantasy and it was really really good. I'm not going to rate it because I have no clue what I rated it in the thing. But you can go back and watch my like actually no you can't go back and watch a tbr where i not tbr a what i read like a wrap up because i never actually mentioned it and so i never actually rated it but it was incredible it was a fantasy it was to do with like sort of like different like elements it was to do with sort of like different elements that went together make the world in harmony and how this like seventh decimate is mm, could end things but yeah seventh decimate by stephen donald's really good i would recommend then i read to the lighthouse by virginia wolf i read this because jack edwards read it in 2019 and it was like well if i'm gonna read something i'm gonna read that and so i read it yeah then I read The Zodiac Killer by W.L. Knightley. Then I read An Ace and a Pair by Blake Banner. Then I read Trunk Music by Michael Connolly. I'm sorry about any lighting. I will try and fix it in editing. But yeah, I read Trunk Music by Michael Connolly. Really, really good. Then I read From Potter's Field by Patricia Cornwell. It was really good. I liked it. Then I read The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents by Terry Pratchett. Then I read A Twist of the Knife by Becky Masterman. Enjoyed it. Then I read Tracking the Treasures by W.L. Knightley. Really enjoyed it. Oops. Then I read The Werewolf House by Mark Mills. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Then I read Scared to Death by Rachel Amphlett. Then I read The Crime Beat New York by A.C. Fuller. Then I read Grain of Truth by V.J. Chambers. Then I read Absolute Proof by Peter James. Big ass book. Then I read Last to Die by Tess Gerritsen. Then I read Better Off Dead by H.P. Mallory. Then I read Justice for Mackenzie by Susan Stoker. Then I read The Word is Murder by Anthony Horowitz. Then I read Good is Dead by Mark Billingham. Then I read The Final Formula by Becca Andre. Then I read Katie Watson and the Painter's Plot by Mez Bloom. Then I read Meet Me at Midnight by Elise Noble. Then I read Lost Library by Kate Barre. Then I read Hidden Blade by Pippa de Costa. Then I read Better Off Wed by Laura Durham. Then I read City of Bones by Michael Connolly. Then I read a short story called Killer Cupcakes, which was by Milda Harris. Then I read Horror America by Paul Westwood. Then I read The Girl Who Lied by Sue Fortin. Then I read Ring Around the Rosie by Julian Scott. Then I read If You Could Go Anywhere by Paige Toon. Then I read The Race by Clive Cussler. Then I read Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. Big ass book. Then I read Fire in the Mind by R.J. Lewis. Then I read The Perfect Wife by Blake Pierce. Then I read If On A Winter's Night A Traveller by Italo Calvino. That one was kind of a hard format to get around, but it was still quite good. Then I read The Watcher by Matthew Hattersley. Then I read Killer Intent by Tony Kent. Then I read Hardfall 
by Phil Reed. Then I read Crimson Lake by Candice Fox. Then I read No More Secrets by Jack Brandon. Then I read The Sinner by Tess Gerritsen. Then I read the A Short Story, which was The Perfect Gift by Estee Holland. Then the final book I read was To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I originally got out one extra book, but then I've just realised actually I read it this year. <laughs> so, as in 2021. So I can't include that yet. But those are all, all the books I read. A lot of them were ebooks, but then there was also a lot that were physical books and I I think I kind of realised like I sort of went through a phase where like right at the start of the year I read quite a few physical books and I went on to like an ebook phase and I went back onto like physical book stage and I just sort of flicked through I don't know how many of these like I don't know how many physical books I actually read in total I never actually totaled them up so 18 of those were physical books and obviously I read 44 in total so just under half of the books were actual like physical books and then the rest were ebooks but honestly I can't go wrong with ebooks all the ebooks that I did read were free some of the ebooks you can no longer get because I've searched for them and they don't appear anymore like or like if I've clicked on a book it doesn't appear in store anymore so, which is unfortunate but it's what happens but I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know how many books you read in the comment section below make sure you hit the thumbs up and let's try and get this video to five likes and also let's hit the subscribe button because for the end of February I'm trying to get to 380 subscribers so please subscribe and make that happen Make sure you comment down below any videos you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.